Hello everyone, I'm Paul McElwire Grimes. Blumhouse is synonymous with the horror genre from low budget thrills to iconic slashers and contemporary themes. Their latest Speak No Evil is an English language remake of a 2022 Danish film. It's in theaters and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Scoot McNary and Mackenzie Davis star as Ben and Louise Dalton, an American couple vacationing in Tuscany with their daughter Agnes. There they meet a British couple, Patty and Sierra, who's played by James McAvoy and Ainsling Franciosi, and their non-verbal son, Ant. Patty is loud, wild, and in-your-face, but nevertheless, the couples and their families hit it off. Patty invites Ben and Louise for a weekend getaway at their home in the British countryside. But the weekend doesn't fare well for Ben and Louise, as it's not just differing parenting styles that soundly alarms. There's something off about Patty and his story and background as they don't add up. The truth is slowly revealed as the Daltons plot their escape for survival. Speak No Evil has been adapted by James Watkins, who wrote and directed the film. Now, I haven't seen the Danish version to give a direct comparison, but Watkins has stated that he's given this adaptation a whole new third act for Ben and Louise Dalton. Watkins has this really easy uh, kind of buy-in up front, setting the opening in the gorgeous landscape of Tuscany. It's a dream vacation, and the audience will relate to that awkward feeling of running into people you just don't really mesh with on vacation, who seem to take over the pool or the community spaces a little louder than you want. And as the story then settles into the complicated weekend with the Daltons have with Patty and his family, James Watkins really builds up the tension by narrowing in on that kind of mental guard that we put up when we read into strange circumstances or mishaps outside of our usual frame of mind. There's this kind of psychological uneasiness that really affects Louise and the intuition that she has about that situation. Mackenzie Davis has the greatest arc here as Louise, whose instincts are right on par about the situation, but she's in a place that she can't quite act on them. Davis tackles the physicality of the third act with ease, really making her performance quite compelling. Scoot McNary keeps Ben, though, at a distance, fractured by losing his job, but really ultimately wanting to keep the peace with Patty. And James McAvoy as Patty is always great at just playing mentally unhinged characters. There's this beast-like quality to parody that James really taps into. Now James Watkins keeps this film as grounded as possible in the breakdown in human behavior between these two families. He mostly stays away from artificial scares or things that go bump in the night. There's really this slow burn as you're just kind of waiting for something strong to really propel the conflict at hand. It's over an hour in when the big reveal happens, and even then it feels a little out of left field. The title does make more sense, but then it feels very on the nose about childhood trauma and what it means to really reclaim your voice. Watkins never resolves this with conviction, but rather kind of just shifts to making that third act be one of survival for the Daltons against Patty and his family. It becomes this kind of big cat and mouse chasing within the walls of this property. Now, I wonder if the Danish version felt bleaker or more heart-pounding, as the English language remake just comes across as this generic thriller that neither stands out or has anything new to say. I'm giving Speak No Evil two out of five ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got to talk to Mackenzie Davis, so check out that interview. I had a blast talking to her. So look at that interview, let me know what you think, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Speak No More. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.